The same way you can access any item in an array, you can also add and remove items from any position. For this video, I'll walk you through the process of adding and removing items in an array, and it's going to be fun. Let's get to it. I already showed you how to access an item in a couple of videos back. We can use the same syntax to set the value at that index as an assignment. As you can see, index 3 and 6 now are respectively A and B. If an index does not exist, I can create it on the fly the same way. On this example, I am simply using the array length to add an item to the end. There's a different way to accomplish this, so don't get used to this just yet. What if I were to set a far index, for example 20? As you can see, JavaScript will create empty slots until that index and then set that index to the value as specified. We can verify this by checking the length and indeed the array is larger, just has a lot of empty slots. Weirdly, if I iterate over this array, all index with no values gets ignored. I will talk about this in a different video, but for now, be aware of this behavior. About adding items to the end of an array, there is a push method which allows us to do just that. By calling push and passing one item or comma separated items, they will be added in the order you set them. If you want to add items at the beginning of an array though, you can use the unshift method and it also takes one or comma separated items. Both push and unshift will return the new length of the array if successful. I can also accomplish the same effect with the spread operator by reassigning the array to a new array and then spread the array inside putting the new item at the beginning or at the end. Now if I want to remove items instead, I can call methods pop and shift to either remove from the end or beginning. Both pop and shift will return the removed items and they only remove one at a time. Now. To move away from the edges, what if I want to remove an item at index 2 or 4 or middle? For that we use the array built-in method splice. Splice takes a few parameters, so pay attention closely. The first parameter is where to start. Think about it like the index where you want to start removing or adding item from. So if I want to start adding or removing items from the fifth position, this will be 4. Remember, 5 minus 4. Just with a single parameter, splice will go ahead and remove everything from that index I specified, including the item at that position. We can change that by specifying the second parameter, which is how many items we want to remove. If I specify one, it will remove the item at the index I specified. After the second parameter, I can comma separate all the items I want to add. So if I just want to add items, I set the second parameter to be zero and start adding items at the position I specified as first parameter. So splice lets us remove or add both in one single function call. Pretty dope if you ask me. There you have it, a quick walkthrough on adding and removing items anywhere in an array. You're officially a pro now. Catch you on the next one. Bye bye.